Hey guys, welcome to the BD Themes widget tutorial. Today we'll talk about the Fortune Slider widget presented by the Prime Slider add-on. The Fortune widget gives you one of the most fascinating slider making experiences as the slider is packed with high quality user experience booster interface designs with stylish navigation, a blending background image layout, sharp text, and unique call to action button style. On top of all these awesome interface elements, the slider packs distinctive slider animations for texts, navigation, and images to further enhance the visuals for your audiences. On the display, we are showing you a couple of demonstrations to give you an idea about what you can design using the Fortune Slider widget. Alright, let's get into the backend and explore the customizations. Let's drag and drop Fortune Slider inside the editor page. The first thing you will see is the default view of the widget or the interface that your visitors will see. On your left are the controls for customizations. On top, you get a scroll bar to adjust the height of the slider. And right below you can change the content width. The switchers can show or hide certain elements on display like the title, subtitle or text etc. For the text though, you can choose to hide it on selected devices. Below you'll find three more switchers. For the record, let's turn off the fraction switcher and you can see the fraction navigation disappeared from the interface. Let's toggle it on again. Right below, there are several content position controls that you can use to reposition the content part over the slider. There are just enough options for every occasion. Also there is a text alignment option below. Next, the slider section is where all slider items are listed and they are in the form of tiny boxes. Opening an item box will reveal more options inside. Here you can change the subtitle, title, read more text, a read more link and an image for the slider item. Let's start customizing this information. Finally, the image. Once you are done, you'll have a nice looking interface on display. One more thing, you may customize the image for all items at the bottom of the settings here. Next, the slider settings section has mostly animation controls for the slider, such as autoplay, speed, loop, etc. Alright, let's jump into the style tab. From here, the very first section, you can add an overlay color on top of the slider image. Just choose background for overlay and let's pick a color. You may use a single color or gradient as per your needs. The gradient color comes with color location and angle controls to give you the freedom of customizations. When done, let's switch to the title section and change the title color to black. Notice there is a separate color option for the first word of the title. Let's use it to create diversity. Then you can change the font settings from the typography option. A bunch of controls here to take advantage of. Next, from the subtitle section, let's change the color of the text and then go for the font customizations from typography. Then move into the text section. Here we can keep the text color black from the options. To match it with the rest, let's customize the font settings too. When done, we can switch to the read more section. Here, by default, an outline button type is selected. You may choose the fill type button which looks like this. Then select white for the color which is the text color and a different color for the border and fill area. For hover, we can simply choose white for text and black for the background. Don't forget to check the hover effect real quick. You may want to customize the button area through the padding field and then go for the font settings in typography. Then we can move into the navigation section. Here we can select a unique arrowhead style from the 23 predefined styles available. Then you can choose the background color for the arrows as well as apply white on the arrowheads. For hover, let's use the same color combination as the button. 
then go back to the normal mode and ungroup padding fields and start customizing the padding values separately to adjust the arrowhead background area. A little below, you can change the arrow space between and icon size with two scroll bars. Then a little below, you can customize the colors of the fraction navigations. Notice the active color option and change these colors separately. To adjust the size of the fraction, you can use topography controls like this. There are more options here but we'll jump back to the content tab and turn on autoplay from the slider settings and enjoy the freshly baked slider interface. That's how you do it with the fortune slider widget. Hope this video helped. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel to get updates on new tutorial videos. Until then, stay safe and see you next time.